All right, hey guys. Um, I'm gonna try a little something new with the camera. Um, maybe we can get a little bit more runtime out of it. Maybe not. We'll find out. Uh, but anyway, uh, I want to go ahead and talk about this Game Boy right here. This is the uh, IPS backlight kit that I did a little while ago. This one in particular is the one that I assembled with the tabs. I have not yet done the uh, palette swap fix on this one. And, uh, well, that was on purpose. I wanted to be able to test some things out, but now I think it's time to go ahead and fix that. And I want to do, um, well, before I get into that, you can see on the left here we have white. This should be light gray, this should be dark gray, and this should be black. And even if we swap around the palette, you can see it's still pretty consistent. Hopefully. I'm sorry, I can't really see the screen of my phone. Um, but, yeah, anyway. Going to get this bad boy taken down. Um, now the fix is going to be the same thing that I did on the last one. I'm just going to end up swapping the uh, two data lines over. Phillips, where is there it is? But I'm going to do it differently than I did on the uh, other Game Boy. I did on this one. I'm going to try and modify the front board instead of the back board. Um, a few people had mentioned it, and I mean, it seems kind of obvious to me, but I understand I'm kind of weird like that. So, see if we can't make a video on it. This, I believe, is going to be the exact same thing that Retromodding is doing. I don't know if they've published exactly how they're fixing their front boards that they sell. Uh, and if they have published it, I haven't seen it. So that's on me, but um, shouldn't be too bad. And I had to break out the old toolkit today because in my infinite wisdom, I uh, managed to lose the J1 bit in my uh, iFixit kit. All right. So let's see if we can bend this ribbon without removing it a little. So the idea is we want to try and swap the pins on the uh, top here. Did I zoom all the way out? Yeah. Okay. So it should be the exact same pins on the front and on the back. And the pins we want, for example, this one. Easier way to do this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. All right. So this pin connects to this, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the one right next to it, pin number seven. So on the front half of the ribbon here, we should have pin one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's see if I can't get my probe. In place. Just double check. And yeah, that's fine. And let's try out the next one. Oops, if I touch the right point, doesn't it? Yep, there we go. So yeah, that's just the sixth and the seventh pin on this front half. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this because I don't want to have to deal with this whole Game Boy in the way. And oh, I'll still need that. So the plan here, let me, is we are going to swap some of these traces right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, if we go by looks, it should be this third thick trace and seven would be this fourth thick trace. Let's double check that. Yep, that's that and that's that. So I'm thinking the easiest way to do it is to, hmm. But that's going to be right where the cable is. Eh, it should be fine. 
What's the worst that could possibly happen? I don't see what could go wrong. Let's try it out. So I'm going to use my blade here. What did I say, the third and the fourth line? Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, third and the fourth line. So I'm gonna cut these, one, two, three, right here. And the intention is, oh my goodness, these are thick traces. I like to make a cut right above and right below and then just carve out that area of the board. Oops. But these are unbelievably thick traces. Okay, there we go. I got that one. I think that second one was a little bit easier. Okay. Let's double check that I've totally ruined this thing. I mean, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six. That still connects to that, but not to that. Correct. And same thing with that one. Yep. So now I need to expose some of the copper here. And uh, I think a small flathead screwdriver. Eh, we'll just use the blade again. Probably the easiest way. I had a uh, fiberglass scratch pen or something that would be perfect for this. But I think this will work just fine. Okay. Let's try it out. Those tinned up just fine. All right, so now the annoying part is going to be getting some wire in there. The problem here is that this wire sinks the heat so well as soon as I heat up one side, the other side just lifts up. So if we get a uh, longer piece, we should have a little bit more time to work with it. I'm going to solder that down just like that. And I've already got another piece about this size cut. Solder that one down, just like that. And then I need to trim the end of this. That's okay. One more. Should 
Shoot. There we go. There we go. Now let's try it out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's connected to that one, but not that one. Nope, it's connected to both. So I think I have these two shorted together somewhere. Jesus is nuts. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. Now it's connected to that one, and that's connected to that one. Cool. So it is, uh, it's working. Theoretically. going to put entirely too much Kapton tape over it, protect it from me, and let's try it in the DMG. Ain't that the worst? Just get ready to test everything out, and then the damn camera cuts out. All right, this has been a train wreck of a video, but so far so good. Let's try the gradient test. Et voila. This one has been fixed as well. This is still my favorite gradient. Well, this one actually, but they're both pretty good. But there we go. That's a way to do it if you don't want to modify your uh, original Game Boy backboard. Uh, if you'd rather only modify the uh, kit itself, which I understand, but. Um, quite a bit more difficult to modify the kit instead of modifying the Game Boy. So I don't really recommend it. Just kind of how it is. With the Game Boy, you have those nice big solder pads and the pins that you can solder to, you know, right right there. Uh, on this thing, it's... On the kit itself, rather, it's like more modern parts. Um, so you're cutting traces that are right next to each other. Granted, I probably could have done that a little bit better. Um, I'll be the first to admit that. But still, it was... As someone who's done both now, modifying the DMG board itself is so much easier. Um, 
I suppose it's also worth mentioning that the newer versions of this kit, uh, hopefully soon, uh, they won't start shipping until at least after February 10th. Um, the new versions of this kit should already have that fix implemented. And so they won't need a... Uh, it's not required to go in there with your... Uh, razor blade and start cutting traces and swapping stuff around uh, but otherwise that's another one fixed and cleaned up don't worry i did clean everything let's try What should we try? Let's try Pokemon Silver. Screw it. Make sure everything still works well. That certainly looks fine. Oh, you know what? I should test this with uh, uh, Super Mario Land. Just real quick, here's what the palettes all look like. This, this one looks terrible. I like this one the best. I don't like this one at all. Alright. So far, so good. This is just Super Mario Land. So as you can see on the uh, on the pipe here, we've got light, dark, black, exactly how it should be. This is how the game is supposed to look. Um, granted, I think there should still be a little bit more contrast between the light and the dark, but it is what it is. Uh, and just for comparison, on my flash cart here, I have a palette hack of this exact same game. The palette hack is designed basically only to work on unpatched DMG IPS kits. So you can see now we have dark, light, then black. Um, so it no longer really works on this kit because this kit has been uh, modified. But now we can see how it was looking. You can see how much better it looks. Um, otherwise, if y'all have any questions feel free to hit me up in the comments i'll see what we can do and uh until next time thanks for watching